there's a few things I need to bring up and talk about because it's just getting to be so ridiculous. And at the same time, I feel bad because people are still just going by what they're told. And here's here's an example. The guy Dave at work, you know, he's a smart dude and I'm not trying to put him down in any way. He's a talented editor. He's going to be sponsoring Fit T, which he's never heard of before. Doesn't know if it works, but they want to have him do advertisements for him and he wants to sponsor and he's going to sponsor them. He's already trying to think of the advertisement, hey, which is fine. Everyone, you know, in all right, you know, most people would be like, well, yeah, he's got a job. That's like a way to make money. Good, good, good. Yeah, cool, good. Well, here's the thing is he's already trying to think about what he's going to do as a advertisement, but hasn't tried the product to know what he's saying about it. So maybe he's doing that, but he didn't say that. And he already, since he's already telling me that he's looking at making the advertisement for a product that wants him to do it so they can sponsor him. It's really just the money. It's not the product that he cares about. It's not the integrity of this is something I stand behind, which is what everything should be when you do something. But see, he's ignorant to the fact of that because he's looking for money. And, it, it, you know, someone said, we'll sponsor you. So it's like, oh, I'm noticed. And because he's actually sort of an emo kid who dyes his hair blue and whatever. And he's an awesome dude. He's an awesome dude. But he doesn't understand that he is very susceptible to outside stuff. His mom died, and I feel bad about that because, you know, I do, my heart goes out for that. And, like, you know, and his dad, he says, like, he doesn't have much of a closeness with his dad. And he doesn't believe in God and doesn't really care. He says all this stuff. People are dying, and I don't care. But then here's the next thing, you know, like, that's fine that he does that. But that's just one thing I wanted to point out. People will blindly do something for money when it's not even something they truly believe in. It's just because we're trained to do stuff for money. We're not trained to do stuff that we believe in. It's best to do both. And most people deep down would think, yeah, you wouldn't do something you don't believe in. But I don't believe in feeding people burgers, but I people work at McDonald's. You know, do they think about the fact that it's dead animals that they're feeding people? No. They're just thinking that they have to make money at a job. You know, and no matter how much commercialism and business and stuff goes on at the factories to make products that you sell at Walmart, most people wouldn't think about the fact that, you know, they're just working at Walmart. They're just doing what they what they do. They're ignorant of the fact that all this other stuff goes into it. In every way, business is like that. So if you have a business or if you have a job, you have to sort of agree to deal with those things that go on behind the scenes because people are ignorant. You know, like in all shapes and sizes, people are ignorant. The stuff that's going on, we get exercise certain procedures that would make sure that it's about doing it the right way and have an integrity to everything we do not to cut corners so we can preserve it for longer or make a bigger dollar or a better profit that's not what anything should be about in fact profits and dollars should go what should matter is making things that are valuable and quality for people but anyway back to this example here we go so he brings up this thing about the coronavirus. A thousand people died in the last couple of days. And I'm like, I'm saying it because whatever. A virus, sure there's a virus. Because people believe that there's a virus. They hear people die from colds and sickness. And they do it. And they'll die. Just like I know that there's been the Spanish flu. And there's been other flus. And there's been smallpox. And there's been malaria. I know those existed. Sure. I know that people died from those things. Sure. But just the people that I needed to keep living did. You know. And I'm still here. So I'm good. And I'm not just trying to discredit all those people. I'm just saying that if you are first, there can be one level of it where you have no idea. Say you're a young child and your mind has no idea what things are going on in the outside world projects everything upon you. Of course, you can get sick. Okay. Then at the other end of the spectrum, you're somebody who knows that you control everything in your, in your body and in your mind and you can not get sick. Well, that's the opposite spectrum. Well, then you have all the people in between that at some level, you know, they see something on TV about people wearing masks and they're like, oh my God, it's happening. So as soon as they think that, they, the whole idea that they have, the program of the world is falling apart, triggers in their mind, causing all their things and their thoughts to relay that message back to them. Their, their body will start acting that way. The outside world will start acting that way. They're not going to notice somebody who walks down the road whistling. They're going to notice the next thing that says coronavirus. That's what they're going to notice. They're not going to notice anything happy. And if they do, it'll be annoying to them. That's the thing. People are, are ignorant to stuff because they ignore it. Not dumb ignorant. Like, ignore it. You're just ignoring stuff. People, It's right there for you. And people aren't, whatever. Okay, so Dave goes, So if I find someone, if by some chance I contract the coronavirus, then I'm going to cough right on you. I'm like, if by some chance you contracted, contracted what they say is the coronavirus, 
and it looks like what they think the coronavirus looks like, you're not going to be here at work. So, sure. But at the same time, if you could somehow find somebody with what you call the coronavirus and bring them here and cough on me, it's sort of a waste of time. Because what you don't seem to understand is your level of ignorance is very high when it comes to a subject you're trying to talk something about which you know nothing. You seem to not know at all that that's how it works. Like, you are told something on TV, you hear that a whole bunch of people died, media is what you believe, and bam, you're immediately, you're immediately convinced that that's what's going on. People are dying from the coronavirus. Nope, every year people die from sickness and cold and flu. And all the time, every day people die. But you just put on some masks, say that this is what it is, make up a cool little graphic of a, of a shaped virus, all these people start thinking it, bam, you know, uh, medical professionals start looking for it. And they, they, they're told, they're given this program that says, this is what it looks like. This is what to identify. Oh, this person's sick. If you have anything that looks somewhat like this, call it that and, you know, give them that title so we can keep that idea going. And see, what's weird is some people, most people have no idea that this is what they're doing. Maybe no one in the world knows that this is why it's happening. But what it is, is consciousness. Like, there's a lot of people out there who don't want to live anymore. There's a lot of elderly people who don't feel very valued and don't feel like they're doing very much for the world and don't feel like they belong anymore because the old ways of living are dying off. Well, this corona is basically the existence and consciousness's way of giving them an out. Those people who really don't have much to hold on to can take this as their out. Believe it or not, that's all that's happening. It's always what's happening. Everything you see in your life is consciousness manifesting itself in front of you. Just because you call it the coronavirus, or you call it six th or a thousand people dying in a day, or this happening and that happening and this happening and that happening, and you having a job and you having a name and you know this world and that world and races and, and, and uh, countries and all that stuff, that's just the manifestation of what you believe in. And you believe in it because it was told to you. And until you can get to a certain level of thinking where you comprehend what I'm saying on a level then you're trying to tell me I'm wrong and I'm defensive, you're never going to get it. People will never get it if they keep looking at it from a defensive point of view. They need to open up their hearts and let go of the dumb shit they have in their head that's blocking them from listening. Instead, people are like, uh-uh, 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 I know better, uh-uh, uh-uh. And it's not, that's not how I am. I know that they're right too for themselves, but they're not right for me. They're, they're creating their life, I'm creating my life. And I would rather they join me and created a life of magnificence and beauty with all the people in the world instead of watching people themselves making their own worlds shitty. Like, my world is beautiful. Other people around me are making their worlds shitty. And it, as a person, can make me think, man, that's shitty, but I love it because that's what they're doing. So I have to sort of deal with it. I could choose to dive into those subjects and subject myself to it but that would be pretty ignorant of myself I would choose to ignore but that I can't do that anymore so therefore I'm on this path where say you go into a country of a thousand people who don't talk your language and you're talking your language and no one gets it you're still talking something that makes complete sense to you it's just no one gets it well no matter where I go and who I'm around when it comes to spirituality consciousness existence where we are, who we are, where we're from, and where we're going. When I try to talk to people about it, no matter how much they think they get, no matter how much they Bible thumped or read about Buddha or all those things, or had even a psychedelic experience, because they haven't really taken the time to go into their mind and really figure it out, or haven't had the experience that just gave them that much understanding, they're just going to look at me like, uh-uh, 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 and I'm going to be the guy who's speaking a language which nobody around me understands. And it's completely right. And that's what sucks. So anyway, that's it for now. That's what I had to say. Peace out. Until next time. I love you guys.